Tennessee begins its 2018 NCAA tournament on Thursday against Wright State. CBS Sports Read Forgrave had a chance to talk with Volunteers star Grant Williams and those around him last month about how he and UT turned low preseason expectations into being a no. 3 seed in one of the nation's best surprise stories. There are a lot of impressive basketball things about Grant Williams, the tough, hard-working sophomore power forward who has led no. 15 Tennessee, a team that was picked to finish near the bottom of the SEC but now has a real shot at a no. One seed in the NCAA tournament, to become one of the biggest surprises of this upside-down college basketball season. But we're not going to start with the basketball things. Because when a 19-year-old potential NBA player can call himself a renaissance man and not at all be exaggerating, and when his AAU coach used to call him a renaissance man, too, you don't start with the basketball things. You start with the other things. Like with music. Music has been a central part of William's life since he was born. You can't be a member of his family without a heavy music influence. His father, Gil Williams, worked for years in the music industry, serving as a bodyguard for pop stars like Michael Jackson and Prince. His grandfather lived just down the street in Charlotte, and growing up, Grant and his four older brothers would spend hours at Pop Pop's house, listening to him play the piano. Pop Pop got his first piano in 1951, he took some money from his job painting houses, walked into Parker Garner Music Store in Charlotte, and bought a piano on a payment plan. Now his house has a baby grand piano and a dozen keyboards. Pop Pop would play improvisational jazz every morning. Grant grew up listening to Pop Pop playing John Coltrane's Giant Steps, that song is on Williams' pre-game iPod mix. So are I Smile, by gospel singer Kirk Franklin, one of his mother's favorites, Can You Stand the Rain, by the R. His Tennessee teammate Brad Woodson has been trying to get him into country music. Williams can now sing along to the Jason Aldean song, Big Green Tractor, It's Something I Take Pride in, Williams told CBSSports.com. I like to be up to date and enjoy different things, with different groups of people, basketball is just one of Grant Williams' many talents USA TSI, but a renaissance man does not just enjoy music. A renaissance man plays music too. When Williams was 7 years old, his grandfather gave him his first instrument, a clarinet. Over the years, he's learned to play 10 different instruments. He estimates he can play 4 well, piano, drums, violin and clarinet. When Williams chose Tennessee over Ivy League schools such as Yale and Princeton, his grandfather gave him one of his keyboards and an amplifier. Williams has it in the living room of his apartment. He tries to practice a half hour a day, but that can get difficult during the basketball season. There are other things that make Williams one of the most fascinating players in college basketball, like chess. All of his brothers, Grant's the youngest of five boys, play chess. He was once nationally ranked at chess. He believes it helps him at basketball, chess is all about knowing your opponent's strengths and weaknesses and exploiting them. For languages, Williams is minoring in Spanish. He just started Spanish 323 this semester, composition and grammar, and he's writing papers all in Spanish. It's hard. Last summer, Tennessee took an international trip to Spain, and Williams loved conversing with the natives. His goal is to be fully bilingual soon. In a few years, he hopes to be trilingual, maybe French, maybe Chinese. For dancing, Williams can dance. His fifth grade teacher taught Williams how to do the traditional Irish river dance style dancing. As a high school senior, Williams dressed up in a sailor outfit and sang and tap danced in one of the lead roles of the Cole Porter musical Anything Goes, or Academics. Alongside his basketball trophies at his mother's house is Williams' math bowl trophy. He stood in line for the release of new Harry Potter books. At AAU tournaments, he'd be the only player who'd be sitting in the stands with his nose in a 5-inch thick book between games, he's one of a kind, one of those kids who has the ability to light up the room when he walks into it, said Brian Field, Williams High School coach at Providence Day School in Charlotte. He gets along with all different types of people. He's hard on his teammates but they all got along, and beyond that he got along remarkably well with faculty members and all kinds of kids, the athletes, the non-athletes, the kids who are into drama or the arts. He wasn't just the star basketball player. He fit into so many different circles on our campus. It's something I take pride in. I like to be up to date and enjoy different things with different groups of people, Grant Williams but he certainly was the star basketball player in high school. Yet amazingly Tennessee was the only high major school recruiting him. Williams wasn't even considered a top 150 recruit coming out of high school. 
His decision came down to Tennessee or an Ivy League school, which Williams thought as deciding between chasing a professional basketball career or using basketball to prepare him.